It's day 244 2016 and today we have a new Gorilla Glass from Corning, a new search feature from Google, a new processor range from Intel and more. This is Phone Arena Daily. Let's begin. Atel has announced that it has launched LTE Advanced with speeds of about 135 Mbps in the Mumbai area. What this means is that the carrier aggregation technology, which is part of the LTE Advanced, which is one step above LTE, is about combining both TDD LTE, which is 2300 MHz, and also FDD LTE. And together with the carrier aggregation technology, you get better coverage indoors and outdoors. And this will help you reach good speeds which Airtel claims is about 135 Mbps. Surely you can reach these speeds with a very few phones now which have LTE Advanced. You can view the complete list of the phones in the link in the description and check if your phone has it. But if you live in Mumbai and you already have 4G in Airtel, then possibly you'll be able to experience LTE Advanced in the Mumbai area. So if you have it, do check it out and read the story for more information. Google has announced a new search feature for mobiles and it's going to debut with the LG V20. We had already seen this in a leaked picture from EV Leaks and it said in apps and that's the name of this new feature that got unveiled today and it's basically going to be the front for the indexing of apps that Google has been working on for quite a while now. So this is a new feature but a lot of background work has been done before and this basically surfaces information from inside the apps and shows you inside the Google Apps. So there is an in apps tab which will show you all the information that your apps have and this works offline too. So this new feature inside of Google search is going to put more emphasis on apps and that's definitely the direction of the future. So what do you think about it? Let us know. Corning has introduced a new Gorilla Glass and this time it's not for smartphones, it's for wearable devices. This is called Gorilla Glass SR Plus. It's basically a Gorilla Glass, but with more emphasis on scratch resistance, which means that wearable devices are more prone to scratches and nicks and all kinds of abrasions that usually happen with everyday use. Mostly it won't get dropped because it's on your wrist, but you will get a lot of abrasions when you're pushing through and just banging on to various kinds of surfaces which the phone is protected from. So there is more emphasis on scratch resistance here and that's why Corning Gorilla Glass is called Gorilla Glass SR Plus. It's going to come out commercially with manufacturers opting for it later but right now this is the start of the new Gorilla Glass on wearable devices. Let's hope it works. And finally, Intel has announced its latest range of the Core i processors codenamed Cabby Lake and these are apparently the best implementation of their 14 nanometer fabrication process. Apart from that, they place a huge importance on three things and all of them are based on media, so which is 4K resolution, HDR content and also 360 degree content. So these three have put more emphasis on the design of the processor which has a bigger area of the GPU rather than the CPUs. You can see the diagram here which shows you a bigger area for the GPU which will compute on hardware VP9 video and also HEVC with a 10-bit codec which includes HDR content. So it's up to the manufacturers to choose which version of HDR they want to put on their systems but all the Cabby Lake systems from now on will support 4K and 360 content and HDR content and they will be on mostly laptops rather than PCs. So this is for desktops as well as mobile devices which include laptops. So this is Core i new generation Cabby Lake processors from Intel. More information in the story in the description and that's about it for the show. Do you think these new options with the Cabby Lake processors are going to make you upgrade your PC or your laptop or anything? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and stay tuned for the IFA coverage that is going to start from today. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later with more technology news.